Group Zero Uses by KScience.com. Noble gases have unique properties. They are inert, which means unreactive. This is because they have a full outer shell of electrons, so are stable atoms. They have low melting and boiling points due to the weak intermolecular forces between the atoms, therefore, they exist as gases at room temperature. They're poor conductors of heat and electricity as they're gases at room temperature. The density increases going down the group. Helium has a low density and argon has a higher density. These unique properties give noble gases a variety of uses, which we're now going to focus on for the rest of the video. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Helium is the first element in group zero and it's used in balloons. Helium is widely used in party balloons and in balloon airships. Helium is less dense than air so causes the balloons to rise. Like all noble gases, helium is non-flammable. It does not set on fire. This is because all noble gases are unreactive or we can say inert. They do not react easily. This is perfect, as you wouldn't want a party balloon or an airship to suddenly explode. Therefore, this is a really good property of noble gases that it does not set on fire. Neon is the second element in group zero and is used in illuminated signs. You may have heard the term neon lights before and it's these characteristic bright red orange lights that you see on the top of shops or on signs. Neon emits bright red orange light when electricity is passed through the gas. Argon is the third element in group zero and it's added to barrels of wine to keep the wine fresh. Here is a barrel storing wine and in that space above the wine there's oxygen which causes the wine to become sour when it reacts with the oxygen. And this is bad, we do not want the wine to become sour tasting like vinegar. Therefore. Argon is put into the top of the barrel. This is because argon is denser than air, so it takes the place of the oxygen. The argon forces the air out which contains the oxygen, and this means no more reactions will now take place, as the argon is unreactive, so will not react with the wine. Krypton is the fourth element in group zero and is used in photography lighting. When the light of a camera flashes brilliant white light. This is due to electricity passing through the argon. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. A filament light bulb has a very thin piece of metal known as a filament. Electricity flows through this filament, causing it to glow brightly. Light is emitted, however, the light bulb gets very hot. Filament light bulbs work really well because they're filled with argon. And we know argon is inert, just like all noble gases. And because argon is inert, it will not react with the filament metal. This is a good thing because when the filament metal is hot, it makes it more susceptible to reacting with a gas. And if this happens, the filament metal will lose its properties and stop being able to conduct electricity. So if we had the same filament bulb, but it was filled with air, this would be a bad thing. Air contains oxygen and oxygen is reactive 
it is not inert like argon or the other noble gases. Well, what would happen is, the hot filament metal reacts with the oxygen. We can summarize this in an equation where a metal plus oxygen reacts to form a metal oxide. The metal has properties of a metal, oxygen has properties of a simple molecule, and the metal oxide has the properties of an ionic compound. So because the metal oxide has the properties of a solid ionic compound, there are no free or delocalized electrons. Therefore, the metal oxide cannot conduct electricity and it stops working. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.